Hey, hey, hey. So you guys, today, I've been getting people staring at me. Like, <laughs> I was wondering, I've been thinking all day, I'm like, is my makeup like too crazy? Y'all know I don't wear makeup like that, so I'm not, you know, I be trying, but maybe, maybe I look like a clown. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody been staring at me all day. I wanted to be like, do I, do I got a booger on my face or something? That's how people was looking at me. Like I had like a giant booger on my face. I don't know. Maybe it's because I had on heels. I don't wear heels too often. Well, I used to wear heels all the time. But I haven't worn heels in like a year. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. I don't know why they were staring at me. But it was super weird. The looks I was getting today. But today is day 29. I can't believe we went through these days like this. So quick. Tomorrow's the last day of 30 and 30. Wow. I can't believe it. Aww. We've come so far in 30 days. <laughs> um, yeah, so tomorrow's the last day. And tomorrow is Wednesday. I be having to think about it. It's like when you don't go to a job, it's like your days just mesh together and they all become one. You be like, what day is it? The date, the day, the time. <laughs> it all just become like a blur. Like I had to ask the dude earlier today what the date was. I just, I don't know. Everything's going by so quick. I don't know what's what anymore. <laughs> but, yeah. Um. So, tomorrow's our last day of the 30 and 30. But, I will come back on the 26th, which is Saturday, <clears throat> to do my weigh-in. Um to see if I lost any weight in this during this fasting and me working out and everything so we'll see um whew. today's topic is laziness <laughs> ooh do I know this topic oh so well <laughs> Guys, that's nothing to brag about, but I do. So today's verse is 2 Corinthians 7, chapter 7, verse 1. I'm sorry, I'm hearing something and I didn't know if it was coming from my living room or outside the window. So I was just, I was zooming in on where the noise was coming from. But... 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 Therefore since we have these promises dear friends let us purify ourselves from everything that uh, contaminates body and spirit perfecting holiness out of Reference for God. <laughs> yeah, reference. Reverence. Reverence. <laughs> yeah, don't judge me. Sometimes I can't read. It's life. It happens. Ooh. Laziness. I'm feeling lazy right about now. Maybe I'm just tired. I actually did some stuff today. I feel like I deserve to be actually tired today. I woke up at 5. I went to the gym and worked out. I came back. Took a shower. Got 
got dressed, ate some breakfast, got Malia prepared to talk to her teacher on the computer. <sighs> then we did homework, her homework, my homework. Because this week I started my new classes, which is nutrition and business law. So... I was doing my work. She had to do her work. Then we left. And I went to go try and make some money doing deliveries and stuff. Um, and then I took her to go... I don't want to say audition. I don't know if it was like an audition, but to go and can't think of the word. I'm sorry, it's something in my eye, you guys. Go and for evaluation. That's what it was. Evaluation for karate. And then after she did that, then we went doing some deliveries again and I literally just got home it's like 10 something so I just got home I'm tired sleepy I just want to go lay down uh, <laughs> but yeah laziness I think laziness is the number two killer of dreams the number one killer is complacency. Am I saying am I using that right, you guys? Being being uh comfortable. Yeah. At like where you at. Yeah, when you get too comfortable. When you know you're supposed to be doing more, but you get comfortable with where you at. And so the dreams die and then you get lazy. I think lazy can be physical and mental. Because physically, I am like not lazy. No one can ever say I'm physically lazy. I'm more mentally lazy. <laughs> like I just be like I sit there and think about it for a while before I do it like uh, this is actually everything I gotta do I think that's why God <laughs> he don't show me the whole play by play cause I would be like uh, like how am I supposed to get to that and then I won't, I be thinking about how to get to it so much that I don't actually get to it. So he just showed me a little step at a time. <laughs> and then when I get to that, he showed me more. Because, I don't know. It's like my brain frees up and I can't function. Like, I'm over here like. <laughs> trying to pry my eyes open to stay awake you guys cause I am tired do I look tired I feel like I'm straining trying to keep my eyes open <laughs> oh my goodness I heard being lazy is a sign that you're a genius. I wonder how true that is. <laughs> like, the stuff doesn't challenge you enough to want to do anything. So you don't do anything. Could that be a reason why some people are lazy? They're not getting enough challenge. And whatever they're seeking or going through I don't know Ooh, it's 
excuse me you guys that was so rude i apologize i really do you know even though i know this topic so well it's just like what can you say about it? What, how, what can you talk about being lazy? It's like, you lazy or you not lazy? Is there an in-between lazy? Like, you semi-lazy? Like, you work, but then you don't want to work? So you semi-lazy? You ain't completely lazy, but you semi-lazy. What would motivate you to stop being lazy on your dream and to get out there and go full force? I can say, me, I work best under pressure. Like, for real. If it ain't no pressure, I ain't pressed. <laughs> I ain't pressed to do nothing if it ain't no pressure. But if, if it's some pressure, like, stuff be getting done like that. Because I feel like I have no other choice. So, with me knowing that about myself and God knowing that about me, <laughs> he, he puts, I believe he puts some fire to get me motivated about my dreams. To stop talking about it and to actually Oh, so sorry you guys. I'm trying to control it. It don't seem to be working. But to actually put forth some action towards my dream that that was one giving me Malia because raising a kid alone is like literally, it feel like it's literally impossible to be lazy. I guess not unless you just really don't care about your kid. <laughs> if you don't care about your kid, I guess you could be lazy, but if you actually care about your kid then I feel like it's kind of sorry it's kind of impossible to be lazy literally I think the second fire was this accident me not able to work and then he blessed me with another vehicle, but I'm still not able to do an actual labor job. Because if I walk too long, my pelvis start hurting. Or if I try to pick something up that's too heavy, my pelvis start hurting. Like that mug be... Feeling like the screws about to come out and <laughs> my my pelvis just go shatter and I'm just be on the floor. It be hurting so bad. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. So I really can't pick up nothing heavy or walk around too long. I was actually I don't know if I told y'all this, but I was actually offered a job and it was like exactly what I wanted so by it being exactly what I wanted I feel like that was the devil way of tempting me to continue to be a slave to a job instead of taking a chance on myself it, it paid decent. It was like $15 an hour. I got, I would be getting good hours, 10 hours a day. And 
my job description would have been um, dispatch. So I'd be sitting down talking. I wouldn't have to be lifting nothing or physically <laughs> doing anything. Just sitting talking on the phone to drivers about how to deliver their packages. I was like, this is it. This is everything that I said I wanted. The only bad thing, downfall, it was an hour away to drive. So, working 10 hours plus 2 hours and commute one, 1 hour each way back. Not to mention the time it would take me to go pick up Malia from child care. I'm just like, in all that time... I could just do these deliveries and make money that way. And while I'm out here doing these deliveries, I got the door magnets on my truck to promote my business. I just got the sticker to go on the back window. So I could be, instead of going to a job, sitting there all day, Waiting for somebody to pay me and dictating. I just feel like they would have a lot of control over my life. Like, how, control over how much I would see my daughter. Control over how much I would get paid. Control over how long I would have that job, depending on how they felt about me in that position. It's just a lot of control. So, and I feel like that would have been the lazy way out. Because then, because when I was working those hours before, I was just so tired to the point I didn't even want to sew. Like, it was like I was being so mentally and physically drained that when I got home, all I wanted to do was just relax and sleep and lay in the bed because my body was hurting and stuff. So I feel like that would have been the lazy way out. So I'm trying not to be lazy anymore. It's going to be hard work working for myself because I got to promote myself. I got to design everything and sew it together myself I gotta homeschool my child I gotta do my own schooling learn to run a business <laughs> like it's so much to do to getting this business going. But I cannot I can no longer take the lazy easy way out. Cuz it's getting me nowhere and I have nothing to show for it. I've been working since I was 16. 16 you guys. And I have nothing to show for it. Nothing. You thinking somebody working from 16, they should at least have their own house by now, right? Still living in apartments. But I am totally grateful, God. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want him to think I'm not grateful for having this apartment because I am. I could be outside sleeping in my car or in a shelter or whatever so I am grateful for this apartment but I just feel like at 29 almost 30 I should have me a house I want me a house I want my forever home so I can stop moving around just stay. <laughs> I, I never would have thought I would have you know, said that 
to myself that I'm tired of moving around. Because I like seeing new things. But I feel like I can see new things and new places without having to move around. Like, I can just have my home and just go travel. And then when I'm ready, I can come back to my home. <laughs> like, I don't have to, like, move and pack all this stuff up and move to different places each time I want to travel. You know what I'm saying? So, I just... I gotta stop being lazy mentally because that's what it is. I'm being lazy mentally. I want, it's almost, it's almost like, I think what it is is growing up, I felt like I was never able to think for myself because it was like, if I thought differently from anybody, it was wrong. But then I was looking at my cousins. They had their opinions saying it real bold to their parents. You know what I'm saying? Real bold. And I'm over here like, dang, if I would have said that, I would have been upside down in the corner with getting my butt whooped. <laughs> Something. But... You get to say whatever is on your mind. Well, no, maybe they had some consequences, but it didn't phase them. Even going into being an adult, uh, it was like people still wanted to have a control on me over me on how to actually be an adult like what I should be doing and how I should be living my life and what job I should be working and how I should be raising my daughter it's just it's just like even though I knew it was wrong I've had people dictate my life so long to the point it is exhausting to think for myself. I know that sounds crazy, but it does. It's like to have to make all these decisions and to make sure they're the right decisions. Because I'm investing a lot of money into this business. I've invested so much money. <laughs> like, I'm like, Lord, when I'm going to start seeing some kind of, you know, coming back. Because I invested so much in trying to advertise and making the business legit. Trying to keep it running. Like, paying for the website each month and... <laughs> I've been paying for this website for like a year and I've only had I'm not going to tell y'all how many orders I had I'm kind of embarrassed <laughs> but I can just say they've gotten more money out of me just having a website than I've actually made off the website <laughs> so it's like I invested so much Lord like what else I got to show you? What else I got to do? But it's, it's me. I'm being lazy mentally. Like, like how I say I'm ready to go lay down and go to sleep. A business person wouldn't be going to sleep. They'd be doing something. Like, I need to go ahead and finish up this costume so I can paint it. And take pictures of Malia in it because um, she said she wants to be a model. So I signed her up for this modeling website. And they want me to submit a picture of her in her costume. 
So I need to hurry up and finish it so I can do that because I think I got to submit it before Halloween. So it's like just stuff like that. Hurry up, putting, getting motivated to just go and do. But it's like it takes so much. I don't know if it's the the ADD <laughs> or the depression, but it takes so much just to get me going, like to get me get the energy to want to do anything. And then because I'm the only parent in the house, you know, I have to stop. Make sure my kid not tearing down the house. Or I got to stop because she feel like she not getting enough attention from me. And that's the whole point of me starting this business so I can be around her more, show her more attention. But it still seemed like she had like... I don't she not getting enough attention. I don't know if it's because she's the only child and I'm the only parent. So, it just seemed like mommy always doing something that she can't sit and watch TV with me or she's always tired and I want to go do something but mommy want to sleep. <laughs> you know, it's just... It's exhausting. It is. It's very exhausting. But this is what I want. So I got to overcome my laziness. It got it gots to be buried. Because I don't want to go back to working for nobody. I like being able to come and go when I want to. Like, I love that freedom. I just like freedom. I'm I'm a bull by nature and you can't cage a bull. I mean, you can. <laughs> but mentally, you can't cage a bull. You start getting them horns, you know what I'm saying? Button and all that stuff. So, I just, I love feeling free. I feel like I've been controlled all my life. And to finally have this freedom, it feels so good. It feels so good. And I don't want to lose it. So, I got to... I got to stop procrastinating and being lazy and do more action. Hmm. I do. I be over here like, bruh, I just need some help. <laughs> just like somebody... That you can trust to hang out with your kid. You know what I'm saying? To occupy them. Or take them somewhere to have fun. You know? So you can get some work done. But it's hard to trust people nowadays. And usually trust comes with money <laughs> how much money you go pay is how much trust you can you know put in them to take care of your kid but even sometimes that don't even that don't even matter I don't know it would be nice to have somebody here to help me but I just don't want anybody here yes I need help with my child but I don't want nobody here that's go hurt either one of us or disrespect either one of 
either one of us. I don't know if it's either either, either one of us in any kind of way. And I don't want nobody here that that's lazy and ain't gonna want to do nothing. Cause then it's gonna get me in the rut of not want to do nothing. I've been around people that just want to sit around and hang around, hang out all day, and not actually do anything. And then I get in my slump where I just, I'm just sitting there, not doing nothing. And then, then I start wanting to smoke. And then the smoke really make me not want to do nothing. Or it makes me go to sleep, depending on what kind I end up getting. <laughs> I guess that's why God wanted me to... Get somewhere and be alone. Stop being surrounded about around people. Because I am easily distracted. It's very hard for me to focus. But I'm working on it. I am working on it. Just like being here with you guys for these... 30 days will be 30 days tomorrow has been helping me work on my communication. I've always been afraid to say what's on my mind, scared of who it might hurt. But then I realized nobody gives a how I feel when they say whatever they want to say to me. So why should I, right? And most of the time when I'm saying stuff to people, it's not like I'm intentionally trying to hurt them. Like, I feel like the people was trying to do to me when they said the stuff they said to me, I feel like they was intentionally trying to hurt me. Like, woo, like, that's how you really feel. But I'm over here just to scare, just to tell you that you hurt me. <laughs> you tell, you saying some real mean stuff to me, and I'm scared to just say you hurt me. I don't like that. I no longer want to be around you. I'm scared to say those things. But they wasn't scared to say those mean things to me. Yeah. Y'all yeah, know I be going totally out of subject sometimes. Because that had nothing to do with laziness. <laughs> but, you know... Ooh, I just had to, I had to put that out there, but stop, don't be lazy on your dream, don't give up on your dream, it's never too late, as long as you have air in your lungs, you still have time. I don't care if you 99. If God bless you to see 99, you better work on your dream before you die. You better. There's so many miserable people out here because they're giving up on their dream. They let people talk them out of it and now they bitter. Don't be bitter. Just go for it. It's going to be scary, yes. Anything new is scary. Anything new is hard at first. It's hard at first because you're not used to doing it. But after you do it for a while, you get a rhythm. Everybody's rhythm is different. So you got to do it for a minute to find out what's your rhythm. What works best for you. And then it get better, it get easier. 
But don't let the beginning scare you away. You got to at least try. At least try. So that way you have no regrets. And you can't say, I wish I would have tried. Or I wish I wonder how things would have been if I did this or did that. You know if you try. So at least try, you guys. I love y'all. She sounding like she in there tearing something up. No, but... I'm not. I'm watching TV. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, what's wrong with kids? Oh, oh, oh. She been driving me crazy all day, y'all. <laughs> you better get off of me. What what the sensei tell you today? Nothing. He said you gotta be nice to your mama, right? Uh-huh. She got up out of here now. I think this karate is gonna be good for her. It's gonna give her some discipline, some structure, you know. She she'll learn some respect. It's hard trying to give your kids morals when other people is watching them because it'd be like everything you're teaching them kind of go out the window when they're around the other people. So then you get them back and you'd be like, what have I been teaching you? <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, when you're not around me, such and such let you do such and such. So... What I say is irrelevant. Yes, I roll my eyes a lot when it comes to that child. Because she be about to... I be like, about to turn into the exorcist. Like, uh, <laughs> I was about to turn into the exorcist when I was giving birth to her. God, that was the worst pain in my life. I don't know if that hurt worse or... The broken ribs hurt worse because I couldn't breathe with the broken ribs. I think the ribs was worse because it lasted longer than the childbirth pain. But they both was about painful. <laughs> but yeah, I see y'all tomorrow. Y'all can't even see my eyes. I feel like I'm going Chinese. Ooh, that might have been racist. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I was being very insensitive just then when I made that remark. I apologize. I'm so sincere. But see y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all. Subscribe, like, comment. <laughs> share do it all I love talking with you guys and my camera is doing something stupid so I gotta go <laughs> love y'all see y'all tomorrow for the last 30 and 30 peace